welcome to my project ideas and in this particular video we are going to learn how to create a bot on twitter or x and the bot will specifically work in such a way that if someone dms you or you know someone sends your message uh, an automatic reply will go back to that particular message so that's the requirement of this project and to create this project we are not going to actually learn the coding we are going to use chat gpt to generate in the entire code for us so I have already written what exactly I need to do. So I need to build a Twitter bot or X bot with chat GPT and it will automatically reply to direct messages in minutes. Okay, so let me create a query for the chat GPT. So it will come back with some steps and the code. So the very first requirement certainly with Twitter is that you need to set up the development environment. So for that, first of all, you have to create an account over the Twitter or X and then click on this particular link. So this is uh, developer.twitter.com or developer.x.com. I am already logged in via the same account that I logged earlier and now I can Click on the developer portal. So I will take the basic one. Okay, just make sure that you are using the basic API and not the free version because it will not work in case of a free version. It means that you need to upgrade it, you need to pay it out, and then only you'll be able to use it. And then I would need to create a new project and get the APIs and tokens. Fine, so I will create a new default project is already there. I will do the authentication setup. I want to read and write and direct message. Uh, it will be a web development. Fine. Okay, so I will give my website here. Now everything else is up optional here. So I can click save, but I still see. Yeah. So I can see the client ID here, client secret here, right? So I will copy everything and maintain it out in a notepad. Yes, I have saved everything. The app ID also will write it down here. And also bearer token that I can generate here. Okay. And access token. So let's copy this name first. This is access token. And then this is access token secret. So you can see that we have generated a lot of things, right? So client ID, client secret, we have already copied. We have the ability tokens, access token secret in API key and secret. So API key, if I'm not wrong, we have not generated. Yes, regenerate them. So API key also is here.
fine so i have saved them too so that's it for twitter side i can go back to chat gpt go to python's website and i will download the latest python this is the maintenance release okay i believe i have clicked on download already download version 3.0 yes now i have clicked and i will let it be downloaded and then i will click and install it out so if you have basic understanding of coding you can use chat gpt and create bots like this very easily the only thing is that you have to write a prompt and send it to chat gpt it will come with back with some answers and then perform simple steps if you are not aware regarding steps also you can ask chat gpt okay what is the next step and afterwards do the installation like this complete it out in case you are getting error just copy and paste the error and again ask the chat gpt it will keep answering your issues and questions so i'll close this now So now everything is over here and I can exit again open CMD command prompt and switch to this location and then continue with installation of PIP install TVP. Great we have now installed TVP also. As of now, I will just copy this code. I will open a new notepad. I will paste the code. And then I will replace everything API key. So API key is this one. API secret key. access token so the chat gpt has already provided me the code that will be used to you know interact with uh, twitter and i can replace this open api open api open ai i don't need and uh, twipi dot auth handler api key API secret key then we have the token token secret key and then it will perform the auth operation we don't need this authenticate open ai So we'll you know provide you the content the code that we are generating here we'll provide you in the description of the video but the reply text from our end will be thank you for texting we will connect with you soon fine and sender id we have received from twitter okay and reply text this is generated here yeah so what happens is like every time there is a message it will start running you know after every minute it will uh, receive all the messages and keep replying to all of them and it will mark them read also if will not mark them read then what will happen that ultimately you will be replying to the same person again and again so you can call it twitter.py and all the files 
and save if i'm not wrong it's py only right so it will also mention the same thing okay let's see let's call it twitter bot i will also call it the same So we have saved the script. Now we have to run the code. To run the code, what I will do, I will run the command prompt. And uh, actually, I will open up uh, this folder. xbots and paste it here and then in this command prompt i will use cd command to switch the location right location where exactly my file is kept and then i can write this same command like this and let's hope it will not throw any error now we will try to run the command once again Okay, so I see when more error we have attribute appear does not ha has no attribute list directory to mean get direct messages. So we'll type the error. So it is asking to replace this particular script, particular code with a new line. So I'll go to Xbots, open up this code again in Notepad, replace this get list direct message with get direct messages. Fine, so once we are done with the coding, we can actually run the Python command. And what I will do, I'll switch my account and uh, I will try to DM myself. And then we'll see an automatic reply will come back. So now I will say from Sigma, I'm dropping my first message to Rudani Pandey. And I will say, I am looking for. IT services, something like that. And an automatic reply will come back within a minute. So I came to home page and I can see an automatic reply came back. And thank you for a message. We'll get back to you soon. So in this way, you can develop a simple uh, bot in Twitter where you can reply something, you know, automatically.